everybody. It's been a couple of weeks. And we are back! We are back. <laughs> we did our little getaway trip last weekend, went snowboarding, did some camping, a little bit of walking on a frozen lake. It was fun. See all the tissues? All the the tissues. Yes. You can go watch that video yourself. I'm not telling you about it. We are back here today. Today's plan of attack is to remove the driver's seat, the heater, the back heater. We're gonna take that out today. We'll show you how we do that. And the flooring oh. under this, just like flooring under the seat and on the steps. Now go. Well, because the, the back heater is attached to the driver heater and the defrost. Yeah. So it's not as simple as just taking it out. Yeah. It, 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 the water comes from the engine, goes through the heater on the driver's side through, I believe it goes all the way back to the back heater and then comes back up and goes through the one at the, at the stairwell. So we need to pull that out and figure out how to make a loop in there so we don't have to worry about that. I'll show you that when we get to that. Okay, we're taking the four bolts that hold the seat pedestal down. They are just bolted into what I'm assuming is some, there must be either a piece of metal under there or something, I'm not sure yet. They don't go right through to the, under the bus. The seat belt ones do, of course. They go right through under the body of the bus. So okay, we're gonna take this out and then get it out of our way. It's become a pain in the butt. There's one of the bolts for the seat belt. Christine is inside the impact. Why does that not fit? crap okay so the wrench didn't fit so I'm just gonna rather than go find a proper wrench I'm just gonna use the crescent wrench on too whenever you're ready okay use the ratchet So we have an inspection panel here that has to be replaced because it goes into the transmission area so you can get at stuff from inside. There will be a cabinet built in here but we will make sure that this is accessible. The cabinet gets built in here it won't cover the panel at all. So that one we're just oh. going to have to cut the heads off because they're, they're stripped. Yeah, so we're going to build it up but leave that hole where the panel is blank. Yes. and just screw the panel into the wood. Yeah, the panel will go back on. We'll make sure there's a hole for the inspection port. And we'll put the panel, we'll put this tin plate back on top for the inspection port. And we're going to leave this here now because the seat pedestal is actually welded to the base of the bus, or to the floor. You can see it right here. Welded here, here, it's just stitch welded. So we'll take out what we can, we'll leave this in here and we'll build around it. And then it'll get covered with three quarter inch plywood on top or whatever we need to make it flush with the rest of the floor. So for now, I'm gonna take this off. I have to cut those heads off right away so we can get that out of there. And I'll cut these screws out of here from the flooring that Christina pulled out. But I'm gonna take this panel off right now so that we can get that the heater lines. This is so we can take the, the heater from the back off, right? Yeah, so we can take the back heater off. Okay, we've come to the fun part. That right there is the rear heater. Uh, it sits back there just in front, or was it just behind? Over by the wheel well, anyway. We are removing that. The lines run all the way up here. There's electrical connection as well. The lines run all the way up here beside the driver's seat, and they go in right there. What we have discovered, taking this panel off, looking underneath, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna put you right under here. So that, there's a line, there's a small line here. Yeah, you can't see it. So the big line at the back here, the big line goes all the way through and out the firewall. The small one comes through here and you can see under here, it goes into the heater core. There's a heater core right beside me here, this one here is the driver's seat heat. So it's a return line. So we've got a loop. It comes from the front, 
into the back heater, and then we connect back up into this heater here. So what we are going to do, no, let me sit up. What we are going to do is uh, first off, remove the heat, take the heater right out, drain the lines, and we can take the return line, the big return line, and just tie it back into the heater core so that the water comes in and out right here. There's a valve here to control the flow, but it'll give us the best option just to bring the heat in and out right here. We'll take the hoses right out completely. Uh, but as we go, I will take little videos of us where we take the core out and stuff and show you all that. That's it for now. Put these two clamps back on. Yeah. situation like this where they've been in there and clamped down for so long that they're just they're just stuck so we take we try and pry it out if that doesn't work we'll cut them cut them cut them phone away so I can help here. Okay, well dad's gone to get a couple rags to clean up this, which is no big deal. We've disconnected the hoses here, drained the core out, drained the hoses out, and we made this loop here just with a piece of pipe and we just put them back on. But for no reason other than to just contain any mess. So we're still going to look at right now pulling this core out, this one right here. We didn't we need to disconnect it up there at the valve. And what we want to do is tie both of these lines into that core so that we don't have any loop outside here. And then we don't have to worry about making access ports out here. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the hose here. So clamp off, be able to take the hose off here. And that's going into the core. And then there's another line on the core comes in the bottom, I don't know if you can see it. Focus is a little bit funny. Anyway, there's another line at the back there you can see. So we're gonna have to pull the core out. That line is fairly long, so we've got room to do it. So we'll just take this off and pull the core out. Okay, I got the line off. And Dad's gonna pull this little core out. And there's still a line on the bottom, but it should be able to move. go. Almost oh, getting hold here. <laughs> what happened to that? You just hung up on the bottom there, right? The fitting. Yeah, I think you're hung up on the seat base. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can see this is going to come out. We just need to jimmy it around this metal seat base. We'll come back to it in a second. 
Okay, we've got the core out, we cut the line off. Yeah, I just went to get a smaller pail so we can drain this little line. As you can see, that line comes all the way back to here. And that ran to the, before we looped it here, it ran to the heater at the back. And right here is where it tied into the heater core under here. So we are going to take that big line back there and we're going to adapt it down and try and get it back into the heater core so we can make the loop right here through the heater core. Okay, we've cut the line there and yeah, we made a mess. But we've pulled the line right out. Uh, and what we're going to do is, so the top line that you see the blue one at the top goes in through the top of the core. The bottom one we're going to adapt it down using the original line that was adapted down from the back one. And we'll just put that in through the bottom of the core. And that will create, create our heater loop, which will give me heat beside my feet. And that right there is how we're deleting the core at the back. I will show you that when we get it all hooked up. This is the fitting that adapted from the hose coming back from the back heater, the uh, larger hose. Uh, looked like it was a three quarter. And this fitting here, it's inside the larger hose, which will fit inside the larger hose up here, this bottom one. And then we're going to take this and we're just going to cut this to whatever size we need to get it into the bottom of the heater core. But before we get carried away there, I'm going to clean this up underneath here because, you know, you make a mess when you do these things. And then we'll clean the heater core fittings and put it all back together. After that, this one here, this blower motor here, uh, blows heat from the heater core that's up front here, blows heat towards the back of the bus. And it comes out there, there's a damper inside, you can see it, controlled by this cable that's running down from the top right to the bottom left. I'm going to be taking this out. I'm going to block it off at the top and I'm probably just going to glue a piece of plastic or something up in there or a piece of tin, we have lots of it. And I'm going to take that out because there's, there's no point at blowing heat to the back. That's going to get blocked off there and down in here. It's going to get blocked off with the flooring and probably cabinets and such. So that's going to come out. I'll keep that as a spare because it's the same blower motor as the front one right up there. And that one there blows heat in and around the driver. So that's a handy one to have. There we go. All right, heater core's back in. Just slides in and out. So what I've done is the bottom line is the one that ran all the way to the back and looped back under and came back from the back one. So you'll see here, I'll move this down here. I have made a loop. I don't know if you can see it very well. I made a loop with the hose and it just, there we go. I don't know if you can see. No, you really can't. There it is. It just comes back into there, back into the core. And that's it right there. So in and out right there. No more back one. Uh, it really wasn't that hard to do. You just gotta take it out, be very careful. You don't want to damage. See how the fins here are damaged? Well, the flatter they get, the less heat you have. So you gotta be very careful. And they're very, very flimsy. They were like that when I took it out. I did squish one section. That's it, it's done. Now we're just gonna test and make sure it's not leaking anywhere. Okay, so there it is, the seat's out, the floor is out, the metal pedestal is staying there because it's welded in and I don't wanna cut it out. We will just reuse it. The heater lines have been looped around as you've seen already. The core's put back in, I ran the bus, got it good and hot, and there's no leaks. So life is good. We're going to call it there. That's it for now. <laughs> Bye. We're not, we're not doing anything else. Um, Be so sure to hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. Leave us a comment. We love the comments. I love comments. And hit the little bell so that you get notifications. And then go check out our website. we got a really cool store there. Uh, www.genx-ventures.com we got hiking shirts and camping stuff. Shirts and stuff like that. Hats. Hats. And soon to be more. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, you name it. And soon to be more. And I'm trying to run a little blog on there, but I have been forgetting to uh, keep up with the blog. So, 
so we do the videos instead. Bye. See you next time.